Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is Doug and today I learned how to restore photos at school and I plan to show you guys right now. So this is the image that we're going to start with and this is how it's supposed to look before and after. Now in this tutorial I am not going to try my hardest to make it look like I did right here. During this tutorial I'm not going to resave this image so this picture will be in the description if you guys would like to use this one or if you have your own it's fine um, the link is in the description for you guys and uh, what you're gonna use for this tutorial is the clone stamp tool and the healing brush tool which uh, healing brush tools this little band-aid and then the cl uh, clone is uh, the one below the brush alright so what you're gonna do is first you're gonna start with the clone stamp tool and then you're gonna go up here and click the hardness at 50. The reason why we click hardness at 50 is because um, the harder it is, like the more of a circle you can see. We want it to be uh, blended in, so it makes the it makes the image look better. Now, by hitting this button or this button, you can make uh, your cursor bigger or smaller. And when you use this, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take care of the biggest mistakes of the photo like this is a big tour like torn piece right here and this is what we need to fix first in order to continue on throughout the cracks and the guy's eyeball that's gone and so on so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click alt and that's gonna put up this cross um, hair right here and you pick an area that is similar to the area so right here this is similar to where this would probably be so we're gonna click right in this area let go of alt and then click again and what it does is it moves it over to what this area is clicked but what you don't want to do is you don't want to pick an area and just go all out and it, as you can see my computer, my computer is a bit slow but as you can see if you just click it it makes it shows up white around this area so what you're going to want to do is if you end up doing this which I hope you don't you click control alt and Z and just keep doing that until you're back to where you want to be and before I go any farther on that up here there's a like a preset for histories and uh, it shows you everything you've done so if you mess up to a point uh, you can click back if you want it back or or whatnot and uh, it only that I think at the when you first get Photoshop it's set to 20 so if you want to set that higher for me I set it at 500 because I thought a like a higher number would be better because there has been times where I go past the 20 and I'm screwed and I can't go back unless I restart. So what you're going to want to do is go to um, edit and go all the way down to preferences. Preferences, all right. And then performance. And where it says the history, you just want to you're going to change that to whatever you feel is necessary. I picked 500, so I never have to run into that problem. And then just hit okay so now this preset for me it'll go down 500 if I choose to do 500 things to the picture alright so make uh, your cursor smaller or bigger uh, depending on where you at on the, where you're at on the photo and uh, what you're gonna wanna, wanna do is click the area that next to it and all and keep clicking all after every click pick a new area you want it to have a cloudy effect you don't want it to be the same thing you wanna make it look like in this background you can see the different shades and whatnot make this look realistic so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick just the colors and make it look good don't worry if it goes outside of this line because at the very end of this tutorial we're gonna take the crop tool and just crop around all the edges so they're smooth so we're just gonna fill this all up and as you can see right here push uh, control plus to zoom in and control minus to zoom out hit the space bar and you'll see the hand and you just drag the photo around that's much easier for uh, you guys that are new to Photoshop okay so whenever you can you can see that there's a bit of white it brought from the bottom and see where I'm pointing as you can see the white it's going off of my last click okay so we're just gonna I'm gonna re go over that and try to make it smaller maybe and try to make it a bit better because we want this area to be dark and you get to these situations where this happens and all you have to do is you just gotta work on just making it look right for you 
For me, it's not looking right at the moment. So what we're going to do is you can go to a healing brush tool and you can pick your area. And what this does is you click in an area and it smashes all of them together to blend it in. So it's a bit lighter and it won't be light for you if you guys uh, keep with the dark color from the beginning like I should have done. And as you can see, it, if I don't alt click again, it'll bring out what's around me. And I don't want that. Okay, so the clone stamp tool is uh, necessary for the outsides of the picture because that will happen and you don't want that. So clone stamp all the way around this area. And for me, um, since this tutorial is kind of dragging on because I feel there's a lot I need to explain, I'm just going to click and uh, apply, just fill it all up. You guys take your time, pause the video. If you want this to look good, um, that's best. All right. So as you can see, when you carry something over into another area, you'll see that it brings over sometimes white specks and spots. So all you have to do is just make your, you know, make the cursor as big as the dot and pick an area around it. And just, that's all you have to do. And for those of you that restore photos and there's like pictures of people that have, if people have acne, this is the tool that you want to use to cover acne. And as you can see, we're going to do the same thing for the hat. And for me, as you can see, you can see the circles and you can see the difference between the shades. And like I said, I'm going through just doing it to do it, but you can easily like pick areas and make them shade in to where they look realistic. It doesn't have to be a hard cover like this. Like right here, a hard color. Right here, there's a lighter black area, so I could have easily just taken the lighter part and just worked my way down until it got dark. And that's what you guys need to take your time on. This, this picture that I uh, did in school took me four hours to do. And yeah, that was during me learning. And it's hard to uh, you know, do your own thing and listen at the same time. So it might take you guys maybe, maybe no time at all. If you're working on this picture, it might take you about an hour. This thing that we're doing right here is really easy. It's just very time consuming. And if someone asks you to... Um, work on a photo or for like your your grandparents go hey uh, I have a box of photos you want to do it charge them like it's not worth it unless you owe your grandma something or you just feel very kind it's Mother's Day coming up she was your mother's mother so so um, we're gonna pretend that I fix this all up good enough for you guys to understand how to do it and that's all you have to do throughout the whole video is you go through even the cracks just pick an area that is uh, close to it and just cover over it and it just it looks really good and after you finish an area if you see that it's kinda of blotchy just remember the healing brush tool really does help it you just take an area want that area and click it and it'll blur it in and make them all look nice Alright, so let's just say you guys went all the way around and you hit every single crack and it looks beautiful, but you guys notice this dude's face is missing, or his eyeball, but all you have to do is just take this eye and flip it around, and then add, do a little bit more to it. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want a background, and just in case the eye isn't perfect and you want to erase around the eye, you need a color in the background to blend it in. So it's still the clone stamp tool because this tutorial is all about that tool. Okay, let's just say that, bam, the face is very smooth. I love the way that looks. All right, then we're going to take this lasso tool. And we're just going to lasso around the eye and the eyebrow. All right. And while that's clicked, before we do anything else, we want to duplicate the layer. Because if you mess up on this and you for some reason don't remember Control Z to go back, um, you're going to want to have a backup copy. Alright, so now that is selected and the layer is duplicated, you hit Control and J. What that does is make another layer, but it selects what you selected and it puts it in a new layer so that when you mess with that and if you move it or whatnot, it only moves that. As you can see, I'm moving his eyeball around. And now to uh, flip it, you want to go to edit and go to transform and go to flip horizontal and then you hit control and T and that comes up with this and you can go to the corners 
and you can move it around whatever way you want but if you want them to look like a human you'll move it that way and you'll move it in just a little bit we're gonna take the eraser and we're just gonna try to try to get out the um, like the sharp parts of the image you want the shadow underneath the eye so don't ruin that and you want to you want to go around the eye and keep the eyebrows so just get rid of all that now let's say you did it uh, as you can see there's still the scratch from the picture so don't worry about that on my on my side for you you guys should probably fix that alright so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here to the layers and see where it says normal we're gonna click it and press overlay what that does is it darkens the image and as you can tell with uh, the picture everyone's left side is darker okay so it'll it'll be fine once you uh, figure it all out and make it look nice alright so we click that and then we put overlay now we're gonna what we're gonna do is just try to make it just look more realistic and if you can't even tell that it's like an eye from far away if someone looks at this photo you know they can tell he has an eye now so just like take your time blend this in make it look right if you want to change the opacity make it look good um, you go over here to the um, where's the burn tool at alright this burn tool and you make this smaller you can actually uh, first let's make the exposure to about 30 percent just so that it isn't too dark and you're not painting just a black line you can take this and you can go up let's go make sure you're on the right layer or it won't work and you can go up and you can just mess with it and make the shading see how it looks more realistic the shading on his face you can even go around here and just make it look nice alright so his eye looks not beautiful on my side but hopefully you take your time and you make him look good it's a lot better than having no eye so now as you can if you look around the photo what's up Nick Bone ASD if you look around the photo you can tell that this guy right here he's got his leg right here and then his leg is completely gone for some reason then his boots down here uh, lucky for us all these guys are wearing boots and this guy has the same stance as this guy so I mean we didn't have to do this today but I noticed this and I thought it would be a good idea so I'm just gonna lasso around this guy's leg and just do the same thing with control J alright let's control J that All right, let's go back to the background first make sure you click on that control J and then it put the leg over in a uh, new layer so now when I move it when I move it there's two of them and uh, let's zoom out control minus and you want to put the boot exactly where his boots at right here okay and then you're gonna get the uh, eraser tool make it big by hitting that button and you want to go around the edges and make it to where the background still looks the same around you can blur it in and if you want the image to you know to look right you can ch always change the hardness of the brush right now I have it on zero and you can make it hard for like you totally want it to erase make it softer if you want it to look more cloudy of an effect alright and then um, at the very end of it all let's say you go through all the cracks uh, and you went on the outside like I told you uh, it's alright to do then we're just going to take this crop tool and let's just say this is where the photo is and you just click and go down make sure you cut out all the uh, extra sides of the paint that you use or yep and you click enter and then it'll make it sharp for you so after you guys are done taking away all the cracks taking away all the dots adding the eye adding the leg and cropping it this photo will be 100 percent perfect and it should look something like this so if this tutorial was difficult for you request a certain area and I will go more in depth the lasso tool if you want a video on how to use that there's a link in the description for it leave a comment like this video subscribe I will have videos posted probably more than once every single week so yeah stick around for more thank you guys for watching and my name is Doug and yeah thank you guys